I'm Justin Davis, and you're going to have some fun today. Welcome back to the channel, campers. Today we're going to check out a new something, a new new from Flywoo. It is the H20 Venom, and it has six blades on here, six motors. So this is technically a hexacopter. We're going to fly it in the backyard today. And I got to give a little a few comments before we go out and fly this one today, because honestly, this one reminds me of like that, that, uh, that weird friend from your childhood who... You, you knew lived down the street, but you never hung out with them. And one day, all of a sudden, you hung out with them. And then you realize, like, this guy's actually, this, this kid's actually really cool. Um, so that's what this reminds me of, like a weird friend down the street. Because um, it does. It looks weird. But once I flew it, it was, like, freaking awesome. So I'm like, oh, my God, we could do so many activities. We could set up bunk beds. We could do karate. We could make stuff in the garage. Uh, we could have so much fun together. So uh, I discovered my new weird best friend today. Um, yeah, the H20. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it is weird, but it has a lot to offer. Um, this thing will freestyle. It will tree explore. Um, it will uh, do cinema. You can put a little action cam on top of it, decase, whatever, and you can make cinema videos. But the best thing about this is that it does have six rotors on it, so it is absolutely super rock stable. Even with the camera up high, you can do some amazing stuff. Um, it's not a perfect tune on here today, but we're going to show you that jello in the high up footage. I'm going to show you some freestyle, some tree exploration, and uh, just some general cruising around the backyard that I think you're going to really find value for in this video. And mainly, guys, because I didn't watch the other reviewers' reviews on this one. I have no biased opinion on this today. And we're just going to jump right into the flying. And then after that, we're going to come back and check this one out on the bench and uh, just look at how really cool this little weird guy is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some flying. Here we go.
right, my guys, welcome back from the flight test. Was that fun? Up in the trees, around the backyard, the first power loop, I made it. The second power loop, I made it. Around um, the, the playground equipment, split S over the tree. I mean, it, it felt so rock solid. This thing flies awesome. You know, I like the little Firefly Baby, the smaller version of this, but this one came in and it feels way more sturdy and reliable. Um, so if you're going to use this for a cinema rig, if you're going to fly around through, say, a real estate type of setup or a house, or you wanted to do a cool restaurant fly through for somebody, if you want to do some pro work on a miniature scale, this thing would do it. It's it's really, really rock solid. It flies great. Um, I would say super up high. I, I showed you the camera view as always, and it's, it's not perfect in the camera view, but on a GoPro, DK's GoPro, it's going to look perfect because you're going to have that image stabilization, whereas this camera doesn't, your FPV camera doesn't. But um, I flew it on two batteries today, 99 grams on the dry weight. The smallest battery I'm going to recommend is something like the Flywoo uh, 300, 4S 300 milliamp. That's going to get you up to two, uh, 141 grams. You'll still have enough room there for a camera which is awesome uh, and you're probably going to get about a four minute flight time with a 300 now with a 750 i tested from beta fpv puts us up to 182 grams right there total takeoff weight without the camera um, adding a camera is still going to be under 250 grams so that's really really sweet so i think the weight on this quad and everything under 250 grams super stable flying around the backyard it feels more solid than any of the smaller micro brushless quads that i have so that's that's one of the reasons for this type of design. I love the uh, inverted motors and the stepped up back motors in the back here. Um, it is in sort of a dead cat style as well, so you don't see any props in the view. You saw that in the FPV footage from um, the DJI goggles, but I love that it's super lightweight. It is a decased Cadex Vista on here as well, which is really, really nice. They also give you the case in the box in case you want to use it later. Uh, it also has a flight controller on here. It's called the Goku Hex, and specifically for this quad. And it is an F7 flight controller, F745, 16 by 16 millimeter stacks, even smaller than this footprint of the Cadex Vista here at 20 by 20. So um, that's cool. And I have my TBS Crossfire in the back on this side right here. Everything is nice, neatly, nicely tucked in here. Um, and it is an AIO stack. Actually, no, it's not an AIO stack. It's a FC here and the ESCs down there. So if you had something kind of burn out on your flight controller, it looks like you could replace one or the other. So it's not an AIO, which recently is kind of a, a different trend because we've been seeing a lot of AIOs lately. And if you don't know what an AIO is, AIO is an all-in-one flight controller ESC together. So that means these two boards at the very bottom, they're in one. So if one thing goes out, you got to replace the whole thing. Um, not with this one, and that that's special. The motors on here are the NIN V2s. They are the 1203 Pro version motors. The props on here are two-inch prop. They are five-bladed gem fan D51-5 props, and uh, I've flown these before, but we also have a unibody on the bottom as well. Nice 3K carbon fiber. We have some it's kind of injection-molded plastic feet in the front and the back. And this strap will accommodate a battery up to about 450 uh, to maybe 600 milliamp 4S battery. Uh, I couldn't get my 750 on there, so I kind of had to just kind of stick it to this bottom tape. Once you pull off the, the top plate right here off the top of this 3M sticky tape, a battery will actually stick down to this. This stuff is super tacky. Um, and, uh, so my battery stuck to it and I was able to fly. Uh, also, we have the camera on here is the DJI Polar Nano. If you don't know about the Polar, it is a starlight camera. So when we go underneath tree canopy, even flying this one a little bit after dark, you're going to kind of be able to see in the dark with this camera. And I love that it already has a lens shroud on the side uh, all the way around it and two side plates here. TPU side plates, and that really helps out with dampening some of the extra vibration coming from all of these motors because more motors, more vibration, right? More props, more vibration. So it might be a little bit harder to tune for uh, a factory tune. That might be why. But in the very back also here, we have an XT30 for your 4S battery. But um, I have to say, like, you know, this is completely unbiased. I, I didn't watch the other guys' reviews, and um, this is just my own opinion here. I, I loved, after I got kind of used to the throttle, um, I, at the high end of the throttle, I thought it was really great. I felt like I had power to do anything in the backyard, even carrying 
that larger 750 size battery, um, it was still really punchy. I was able to do power loops with a 750 on here. So um, that might be because of all the motors sharing the load. And a lot of times a hexarotor, if you have um, uh, the right battery on here, it's awesome because I, I think probably the, the best battery size for this one would be something like the 650. 4S 650 would be a great cruiser and freestyle battery or even a cinema battery. Still going to get you like uh, in seven to, to eight minutes flight time if you're just cruising. So um, I feel like I could push nine to 10 minutes out of a 750. Um, and this is a brand new 750 that I just got this week. So uh, I'm really happy with the flight time, the stability, the performance, the freestyle capability, um, hitting that first power loop made me super, super happy. I was so happy I went back around and tried it again. And honestly, I didn't want to power loop this little guy because it's kind of a, um, a neat little uh, hexacopter and I really didn't want to destroy it on a power loop just messing around. Um, but I did it for you guys and, and I usually give it a shot in these videos so that you guys can kind of see, you know, what some of these smaller quads are capable of in the backyard. So um, backyard cruiser, freestyle, cinema, and just uh, tree explorer, just all kinds of fun stuff wrapped up into this hexa. I keep wanting to call it a quad because that's all we review on the channel. But um, here we are today with a hexacopter and at around $350 with a DK Skydex Vista on here. Uh, cinema options on top for your, your GoPro if you want. Um, it's just awesome. I love it. And um, I'm going to give this one like two thumbs up and it's getting my total approval from the Drone Camps channel to you guys. So if you get one of these, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you have a, an awesome tune on it, share it with the community. Um, Drone Camps community is always here and listening in the comments. You can check us out on Facebook as well at Drone Camps FPV community. And we will all hang there together, make our comments, post our videos, and all that cool stuff. But um, I am out for today, guys. You can check out the link on this one. My uh, code for 8% off the order is still good. It's BG Davis 2021 Even though it's 2022, that one is still active and uh, giving you guys discounts. So I'm going to put my suggested batteries down there as well and get you guys hooked up. So I appreciate you watching, subscribing, and hanging out for all the fun reviews. I'm Justin Davis. Take care, guys. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.